relatively easy question. Um, to the nearest 10 million, what's the total business liability as a result of the delay to the scheme? Uh, we, we don't, as I responded to one of the questions earlier, we don't believe that there, based on the actions that, you know, decisions we've been required to take, that there is any, uh, you know, requirement to pay compensation. I, no, I wasn't asking that. I was just wondering what the total business liability was. Surely, if you're, you know, in the, any of the previous de delays, that would be a, a, a total figure. I'm not asking to give specific business uh, liabilities, but the, the total figure, because clearly that's going to be uh, a, a mechanism that you'd use uh, in order to decide whether to delay. Uh, the scheme at any given point. So I feel that the member has misrepresented the delays to the scheme, and I'm happy to go through in detail to explain those delays because the member is suggesting that those have been done on a whim or because the scheme was not uh, not deliverable in some way. I just wanted the total business the first, liability. That's all. I do not recognise this wor this term li liability that we have had substantial investment so in no, the scheme. So no businesses will need to pay a penny. We have has seen significant delay. investment in the scheme. The delays that the member refers to, I feel, need to be properly explained. The, this scheme, according to the regulations passed in 2020, was due to go live last year in 2022. We've, of course, had the COVID pandemic and we had Brexit, which changed substantially the circumstances in which businesses were operating. And in order to support businesses, we provided that first year of delay. That was to support businesses. That delayed us to August of this year. That was the launch date that we were working towards we were working towards that launch date until from February this year, some doubt was put into the public space uh, by the Secretary of State for Scotland as to whether the Internal Market Act would be used to veto our scheme, to block our scheme. He managed to make good on that threat in May and veto and block our scheme from being implemented in the way that the Scottish Parliament had passed it. So the, the latter delays were specifically around this interference with our scheme using the Internal Market Act. None of those had to do with any sort of suggestion that operationally the scheme wasn't progressing. How much um, do CSL require from producers or banks to survive on a monthly basis? Uh, that is a matter for CSL to decide but as a private business. does the minister business. know? It depends very much on the structure of CSL going forward, whether they are, for example, trying to apply to be the DMO for the UK, whether they are waiting for a Scottish scheme, whether they will be um, you know, continuing to work. Maybe producers would like to continue to work to develop IT systems, for example. There are many uh, pathways forward for CSL, and they are working that out right now with their members. So how much was required um, after the third delay for CSL to make it to March at that point? Are you aware uh, of that figure? Uh, th that's a matter between CSL and their producers. They, when they, but I'm asking if you're aware, because I've got a figure and I would like to cross-check that. It's, um, it, I'm, it's not a figure that I have. That's an internal matter for CSL and they're working with their members. So you, you don't know? I don't have that figure. Wow. Um, so per, could I, so could I yeah. just add, so obviously we have regular discussions with CSL, about the, but, but I think the point the Minister was making and the point that we would stick by is that we, wouldn't, we certainly would not share any figures that are private with, with, with them as a, as a company. That's their, they're a private company. They're not beholden to government. Um, they are, they're, they're there. So the conversations that we would have with them about the potential the futures and what that, that means are, are very much private discussions that we would not necessarily share uh, because they're a private company. It's very much their matter. We, of course, take uh, industry confidentiality very seriously. Of course. That's why I asked for the total amounts. Now, um, others might think that... Scottish Government as a duty of care. But um, this will be an easy one. Final question, convener. Uh, how much is budgeted for the deposit return scheme via Zero Waste Scotland? Uh, the, so I'm aware of the, the written question that the member has submitted on that and that Zero Waste Scotland does some work on the deposit return scheme as part of their budget. I do not have the breakdown of Zero Waste Scotland uh, budget in front of me. That may be information we can get for the member. Yeah, I don't have the, the information in front of us, but we can certainly come back. With... Happy to come back to the member with that detail. Thank you. Thank you.